Hey, so this video is going to be about understanding uh, the analysis of algorithms and time complexity in a very short way because I didn't find any video online that does it in less than three minutes and they're all very messy. So here I'm going to try to make it simple for you guys. So let's get into it. So the first one uh, is the best case, so best worst case, then we have the average case and the worst case. So why do we even care about time complexity? Well. We care because depending on what type of input you get into your program, um, for instance, if it's already a sorted uh, array, um, then when you run a program, it might be actually taking a short period of time to get a, an output. But if, for instance, you know you get an out input that is very messy and the numbers are all in different orders, maybe your algorithm, you for instance, your sorting algorithm needs more time. And that's that's why we care about it. So the running time of a program depends on the data itself. So for instance, the best case, right? So we consider problem itself and not the algorithm. Uh, and this is the minimum that the algorithm needs to perform. So what we do is that we check the minimum number of steps um, taken on each instance of size n. So what we do is we calculate yeah, the lower bound of running time of an algorithm. So, you know, it's not ideal because you know it could take forever for an algorithm to run, but at least we can kind of find a bound. And uh, ideally, it would be big O1. So uh, an example would be that the best case for a sorting algorithm would be that the data was already sorted. So when you run the algorithm, it just um, takes you know O1 to 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 give an output. Um, then we have the average case. This is harder to get than the best or the worst case. And this is because we must know uh, the mathematical distribution of all possible inputs. So that might take us a long time. Um, so it's actually more complicated. Uh, so because we need an average, right? Um, but we have to accept when we, we have an average case that some, you know, for some inputs it would not work. So it is not ideal. And then we have finally worst case. The worst case analysis, what we do is we calculate the upper bound on running time for an algorithm. So this is like kind of the opposite of the best case, um, but it's actually the most useful, right? So we check the maximum number of st steps taken on any instance of size n. And what we do is we, we must know, you know, the, the case that causes maximum number of operations to be executed. Um, so the worst case, for instance, in linear search is when the element to be searched is not present in the array. So basically, most of the times we do worst case analysis. And for, for example, as you see in the example here in the slide, we have the merge, merge sort. Um, so what we do here is, um, you know, we, we try to check what is the worst case scenario. Um, and you can read it actually through it and figure it out. But it is, this is actually the summary of what the time complexity of algorithms could be, and I hope it was helpful.